They look worthless, dusty, dull, and lifeless. But if you walked past these stones today, you might have stepped over a fortune that could change your life forever. Because hidden inside these worthless rocks lies gold, gemstones, and stories older than civilization itself. And tonight, we're uncovering them, one stone at a time. In the wild, nature disguises its treasures with remarkable precision. The dullest stones, those that most people kick aside, often hold the greatest secrets. Not every rich deposit glitters at first glance. Sometimes gold hides behind iron stains. Sometimes emeralds are trapped within rocks that look like simple mud. And sometimes fortune lies buried inside what we call worthless. To the trained eye, however, every rock has a story. Its color, weight, and texture whisper clues. And if you listen closely, the earth begins to speak. In dry riverbeds and old hillsides, there's a stone often mistaken for rusty debris. Iron oxide stained quartzite. Most people ignore it, but beneath that rusty skin, microscopic gold particles often cling to the quartz veins. Imagine picking up a dirty brownish rock, not realizing that inside, fine flakes of gold have fused between the grains. When crushed and panned, these stones reveal golden sparkles like fire caught in dust. This is how countless amateur prospectors made their first discovery. Not from nuggets shining in sunlight, but from worthless rocks that no one else cared to touch. Nature is an artist of concealment. Gold and gemstones form under immense heat and pressure, conditions that don't produce shiny surfaces, but fractured, coated minerals. Over time, weather, oxidation, and sediments disguise them further. Volcanic eruptions spew molten rock, trapping crystals within. Groundwater seeps through cracks, depositing minerals that look ordinary from outside. So the very process that creates wealth is the same one that hides it. That's why prospectors say, if it looks too perfect, it's probably not real. The first secret to uncovering hidden wealth is perception. The prospector's eyes are trained not for beauty, but for anomalies. A patch of red soil where others see plain earth, a line of black sand along a river bend, a heavy stone that feels wrong for its size. These are natural markers, silent signals of mineral presence. When you walk through a riverbed, the first question shouldn't be, what's pretty here? It should be, what's not supposed to be here? Because gold rarely appears in isolation. It's escorted by signs, quartz veins, magnetite, iron oxides, sulfur smell, or unusual density. Every ugly rock around gold is there for a reason. Prospecting begins not with mining equipment, but with curiosity. Carry a simple bag and pick up stones that feel unusually heavy or different. Look for textures that show mineral intrusion, shiny specks, linear veins, or unnatural patterns. Even a rock that appears gray from afar may hold visible hints of color when wet. So whenever you are exploring, dip your rocks in water. Water enhances patterns, bringing hidden veins or metallic flashes to life. Gold-bearing stones often feel dense and gritty. And when broken, they reveal tiny flakes that reflect sunlight sharply. Don't rush. Observation is your most powerful tool. The pattern is clear. Ignorance hides fortune. Observation creates wealth. Let's go deeper. When hydrothermal fluids, hot water mixed with dissolved minerals, move through cracks, they deposit quartz, pyrite, and sometimes gold. These fillings harden, forming veins inside otherwise dull host rocks. Over millions of years, erosion exposes parts of these veins, but most remain hidden. That's why old, oxidized, ugly rocks matter. Their records of mineral migration, their rust-colored coatings are clues that hot fluids once passed through. Follow those stains and you follow the trail of gold. Some of the most valuable gemstones appear rock-like until processed. Opal, for instance, forms in ironstone and sandstone. Its play of color completely invisible until cut. Zircon crystals hide in metamorphic rubble. Even diamond indicator minerals like garnet and ilmenite often blend into the dirt unnoticed. The irony is powerful. The more ordinary a stone looks, 
the more likely it is to be ignored. And that's exactly where opportunity lies. The Earth isn't the only one hiding value. Humans do it too. We overlook the simple, chase the flashy, and miss the subtle. That's why nature's treasures often go unnoticed for centuries. Every great discovery in history began with someone curious enough to question the ordinary. So when you walk through rocky soil or a stream bed, remember, what everyone else sees as worthless may just need a second look. Look for contrasts, where color, texture, or weight changes abruptly. Study how plants grow. Vegetation often changes over mineralized soil. Notice areas where water collects or disappears. Those are zones of mineral concentration. Gold especially loves the company of quartz, ironstone, and magnetite. When rocks are exposed to flame, their hidden structures change color. Soft minerals darken, while metallic ones glow faintly. Quartz veins expand, exposing trapped gold flakes. Even gemstones react. Garnets may deepen in red, tourmaline's colors intensify, and pyrite crumbles. The fire doesn't just heat the rock, it reveals the soul within. But here's the golden rule. Use low, controlled heat. Too much fire can destroy fragile crystals or cause real gold to fuse with impurities. Old world prospectors in Africa and Australia use simple wood fires to soften stone samples before breaking them. They then quench the hot rock in water, a sudden thermal shock that fractures it naturally, making it ready for crushing. After heating, the stones are plunged into water. This isn't just to cool them, it's to create expansion fractures. The shock makes quartz and basalt crack along natural lines, freeing the trapped minerals inside. You'll often hear a sharp hiss. That's the rock splitting open. When lifted from water, these rocks reveal veins previously invisible. Tiny golden lines shimmer under sunlight, and in some, small crystals gleam like frozen lightning. It's a moment that has stunned countless prospectors when the earth literally breaks open to reveal its treasure. Once softened and fractured, the next step is manual extraction. No chemicals, no toxins, just pure physical separation. Crush the rocks gently using a hammer or flat stone until the grains loosen. Then wash the crushed material in a pan or bowl with clean water. Because gold is heavier, it settles at the bottom, while lighter materials drift away. You'll notice yellow flakes or even small rounded nuggets glistening beneath the silt. The sound of the pan swirling, the sunlight catching flecks of gold. This is the moment every prospector dreams of. Every stage, collecting, heating, cooling and washing, mirrors the patience of nature itself. Gold didn't form in minutes and neither will your discovery. But when it finally reveals itself, you realize something profound. It was never just about finding gold. It's about learning how the earth hides and reveals value. How the worthless becomes priceless once understood. The pattern is clear. Ignorance hides fortune. Observation creates wealth. Let's go deeper. When hydrothermal fluids, hot water mixed with dissolved minerals, move through cracks, they deposit quartz, pyrite, and sometimes gold. These fillings harden forming veins inside otherwise dull host rocks. Over millions of years, erosion exposes parts of these veins, but most remain hidden. That's why old, oxidized, ugly rocks matter. Their records of mineral migration, their rust-colored coatings are clues that hot fluids once passed through. Follow those stains and you follow the trail of gold. Some of the most valuable gemstones appear rock-like until processed. Opal, for instance, forms in ironstone and sandstone, its play of color completely invisible until cut. The more ordinary a stone looks, the more likely it is to be ignored. And that's exactly where opportunity lies. Nature rewards those who respect her timing. So next time you see a rough, unattractive stone, stop, pick it up, study it. Because the universe has a strange sense of humor. It hides fortune inside what seems worthless, waiting for someone patient enough to see. And maybe, just maybe, that person is you. Nature never lies. It only hides. And if you learn to listen, you'll find that every rock, every ripple, and every trail tells a story of hidden gold. This is EGS Pro, 
uncovering nature's deepest secrets, one stone at a time. Subscribe for more discoveries that could change how you see the world beneath your feet.